why are all these Call of Duty YouTubers giving their opinion on an infinite warfare when they've never, I repeat, never even played the game? How you gonna have an opinion about something you ain't never seen or did? <laughs> it blows my mind. But your boy, I played the game. I done went hard in the paint. I'm one of the first people in the world that get their hands on Infinite Warfare. You want an honest review? I got you. And I got some perks, lethals. Oh man, it's about to go down. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jimmy Dean again. If this is the first time to my channel, welcome to the Dean Zone. But if you're one of my subscribers, or you've been here before, Welcome back! <laughs> and look, in the background right now, I got some real live Infinite Warfare footage. This one I went out to COD XP. They wasn't allowing us to record, but they allowed a lot of us to stream it directly to Facebook. And that's where I took this footage from, man. In the background, you can pause the video at any time, or you can just play it back and pause it again once it's done. I got all the lethals, I got all the perks, I got some attachments, I got some of the rigs. I mean, it's all there in the background. But that ain't why we're here today. Y'all can see that, that's just a little bonus. I'ma give you my opinion on Infinite Warfare. Every time I click on YouTube, if it ain't the big dogs, you know, Chaos Silencer, T. Martin, Ali, if it ain't them guys, everybody else's footage, most of them is basically hearsay. I'm just saying, I know some of the dudes that were out there at COD XP, Exclusive Vase, Swag, these are guys that are actually played the game. My boy Sagan, Matt Raj, Funk Delta, I mean, we actually played the game. But these ain't the kind of guys you see out here in, on YouTube talking about Infinite Warfare the way it's supposed to be talked about. Everybody else is talking about this game is going to be terrible and I'll tell you why. This game is going to be great and I'll tell you why. And they ain't even played the game yet and they didn't even say it. They just basing it on the trailer. You basing it on the trailer. Well, I actually played the game. I went hard in the paint in this game already. I know what's about to happen. Let me tell y'all this. First off, I think Infinite Warfare is going to be dope. And I'll look here, a lot of you, if you watch the trailer, all oh, you think in space this, space that. Actually, this is more of a military shooter than Black Ops 3 is right now. The specialists, aka the rigs, they're more on the baselines of something you would see in a military fight. Like in Black Ops 3, they're kind of cartoonish. It is what it is, right? But we ain't gonna go there. But it goes hard in the paint. The guns, the specialists that you earn, their weapons, oh, player, they nasty. It is sick. And the boost jumping, everybody's like, oh, it's Advanced Warfare 2.0 mixed with Black Ops 3. Ah, uh, not really. The boost jumping is slower. It's slower. And when I took my scuff the second day of playing this game, oh, it changed the game, period. It felt like boots on the ground when you hit the scuff, when you jump, jump shots. That's what it is. Oh, and check this out. Drop shotting is back in the game. Drop shots. I'm talking about real drop shots. Quick down to the ground and lay them down. That's back in the game, that's a bonus, that's a plus. The gun feels like more boots on the ground. Most of the time when you was using boost jumps is to get up into a window, or they had a lot of underground tunnels in some of the maps so you can jump up top. But a lot of the times if I boost jump, it was for it was just to shoot people or not. I didn't boost jump a lot and a lot of people did not. It was mostly boots on the ground. And it went hard in the paint. It felt smooth, it felt fluent. I'm telling you, and the game moves slower than Black Ops 3. So if the boost jumping is slower, it's not as high, the movement is slower than Black Ops 3, how is this Advanced Warfare 2.0? I'm telling y'all right now, if you don't think you're going to like this game, I'm guaranteeing you will. And the beta is coming soon. That's why I'm bringing y'all this video now. I'm giving y'all a little heads up. You can see the perks in the background. You can see the lethos. I got the score streaks coming up. Every single score streak, I go over them slow. Because when we played this game, the setup, we had like 30 seconds, literally try to set up our guns and do our classes and everything but I took this during day two of me playing the game so I spent a lot more time instead of setting up my classes going over everything here making sure I stopped on certain things so y'all can get a visual because I knew I was going to be bringing y'all this footage you know how your boy does I got to keep it exclusive I got to keep it real but anyway like I'm saying this game is fluent it flows it definitely feels like more boots on the ground the weapons the weapons in this game are going to be nuts 
I'm talking about all you sweaty tryhards that want to go and, and unlock this and unlock that and keep the game interesting, keep the game flowing. There's going to be so many weapon configurations in this game, it's going to keep you playing for a long time. The lobbies are not going to be oversaturated with just one gun or everybody using like the VMP in Black Ops 3 or the M8 or nothing like that. No, I'm telling you, it's going to be so versatile. You're going to have so many options, so many things to play with. And look at these score streaks. It's a lot of them. You can manually control a lot of them. A lot of them you can't. You just gonna have to drop it like it's hot. But you know your boy. Once I get this game come out, you go hear me. I'm gonna be out here dropping the beat on these boys, going ham, making it rain, and you will too. So if you're skeptical, you thinking like, should I pre-order this game? Should I not? Pre-order it now. On my word alone, play the beta, and then you make your own mind up. I'm just telling you, it's not what you think it is. If you haven't played the game, I'm telling you, it's smooth. It's more boots on the ground. A lot of situations, you're going to be at a disadvantage if you boost jump. Because you ride slow, you come down slow, but if you get shot, you fall fast. You feel me? <laughs> but that's real talk. So I'm feeling the game. I'm excited for when it comes out. I'm going to hit the block, and I'm going to hit the block running. And if you don't like this, and you think you want strictly boots on the ground, uh, COD 4 Remaster comes out with the game when you get the game. Now, I've never played COD 4 Remastered until this remaster when I went and played it at COD XP. It was my first time playing it, me and Sagan. We went hard in the paint. We was killing them. I was dropping score streak after score streak. That's boots on the ground. But in my opinion, they're going to have 16 maps total. They said come out with this game. I'm going to tell you right now, COD 4 Remastered is going to get staler than Infinite Warfare. Because the options, the creativity, the things you can do, like I said, with the guns, the challenges that are going to be in the game, it's going to push you to the limit. It's going to keep you more interested. COD 4 was fun. I'm not going to lie. It was my first time, and I had a blast, and I went ham instantly. Like, I've never played this game before, and I automatically went ham. And I think that's due to the fact that my first Call of Duty was Black Ops 1. And ever since then, besides Ghost, every game has got faster and faster. The movement's got faster. People are jumping higher, moving, sliding left, sliding right. None of that is in COD 4 Remastered, and that made that game extremely easy. I'm talking about like child's play. So when you advance in this game, I'm telling you, it's going to make you even better. So you can decide yourself. If you're not feeling the movement in this game, you switch back to COD 4, come back, go back and forth, and you go go ham. It's so much in this game. You're getting two games, and for all you zombie dudes, you can go hard in the paint for the zombies. I mean, this is literally three games coming out in one. You're getting three for one. You go get your money's worth. If you don't like it, player, don't play it. It's just like Black Ops 3. Those of you still playing Black Ops 3 because you like the game. I'm saying right now, I think Infinite Warfare is going to be a much better game. It's going to be a more realistic shooter, and everybody's going ham. And if you're a student of the Dean Zone, oh, player, prepare to graduate from Black Ops 3. Because when IW comes out, we are going hard in the paint. We're going to go ham. We gonna make it rain, and everybody's gonna know your name, baby. Team Zone, Camper Nation, we about to represent. But these score streaks, I experimented with a lot of them, and here's the rigs. I'm gonna scroll down. You can all like go back, like I said, and pause and relook them over and everything. But this is actual from the game. This is from the game. This is from the build. This is what we're gonna be playing in the beta. So it is what it is, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this commentary. And like I said, go back, rewatch, pause some things, check everything out, cause that's it. That's all of it in a nutshell. This is what they gave to us, and this is what I'm giving to y'all. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, man. And if you've been here before, smash that like button for your boy. Let's turn up. Matter of fact, I think I'm about to drop another video today. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're going to see. It is what it is, y'all. I'm out. Peace, love, and hair grease. One. Why? Because I am the kill feed. Ha <laughs> ha. Ding zone.